And time to go for more as we remember all the things that have happened here in the central Iowa area over the past uh, year or two and want to make sure that we don't forget about some of the devastation that we've had to endure over the last past year or so. Absolutely. Right now, everyone's thinking about the flooding. Right. Uh, that, which and is how a no to take brainer. care of our yeah. neighbors, our farmers, things like that. But we don't want to forget about those wonderful individuals that live in Marshalltown that are still trying to rebuild after the tornadoes that hit last year. And it's amazing when individuals and especially companies step up and say, hey, we're going to make a difference. And that's why we're very excited to introduce to you this morning. Uh, this is Joe Carter, president and CEO of Marshalltown. Uh, maybe that's confusing. It was for me when I first heard it, but we're talking about Marshalltown uh, USA, USA. A, a company that's been around for quite some time. Yeah, 129 years uh, making construction tools for brick, concrete, drywall, tile, asphalt, uh, all sorts of different construction areas. Yeah, and your tools are found all over the world. I mean, they've, they've been so popular and uh, are so respected. It's a great thing to have a product here that's based right here in Marshalltown. Yeah, thank you so much for saying that, Lou. Uh, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, even though we're a small name, maybe even in Marshalltown or even in the state of Iowa, uh, less than 1% of our sales occur in the state of Iowa. Uh, so if we go to the concrete trades in Ireland or New Zealand, mm -hmm. uh, pick a country outside the U.S., uh, they still immediately know our name. When, as soon as you say Marshalltown, they know where we're from. I just always say we're the best advertisers for the city because every product that goes out has our name on it. <laughs> Which is pretty amazing. Nice. And it's also wonderful how you're using that now to say, let's put a focus back on our community because there's some individual out there that still need some assistance. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, July 19th, uh, last year, a uh, devastating tornado hits the city. And uh, you know we're still recovering a lot right. of uh, a lot of bricks still down in the streets. Uh, there's a lot still of piles of bricks, really. Yeah, there I really are. I haven't been there in a, in a while, but there, there's still signs of the tornado hitting. Yeah, the old Iowa wholesale building uh, still has not been uh, renovated. Uh, the uh, group that owns them is still working on getting their funding and everything else uh, plans uh, ready to go. And so uh, we've got a lot of a lot of buildings still down, demolished. So a lot of holes in the ground and a lot of flat dirt. Uh, wow. So it's uh, still. A a, a tough time. A lot of blue tarps up on a lot of homes uh, still. So. It, well, I was going to say homes still needing yeah. some assistance as well. So let's talk about a book that you originally started with your daughter, yep. uh, we want to say, uh, to kind of be an educational aspect for kids and to kind of get them excited about the construction company. But now it's taken a, a whole new turn. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 2002, uh, I didn't really remember that until I uh, pulled out some stuff that to want to do with the uh, with the book. Uh, I wrote the book originally. Uh, we, my wife and I have three children, uh, Mike, Hannah, and Sam. And uh, so I started this book after reading uh, you know, Johnny Tractor. We thought that was a great book, uh, John Deere's book about uh, uh, the tractor. And, and, uh, and we had a lot of construction books. My kids really love those. And I, so I always kind of had the idea that, boy, we could write a book that would really take the characters from our company and uh, put those into a book setting. So uh, I had started that, uh, actually had the names of the characters uh, and had written the story, the basic byline, and mm -hmm. had all that ready to go. Uh, and I had, had my sketches, which don't do uh, the book justice, and, uh, and had d signed and dated it, as a good engineer would do, right. and uh, had that. And uh, uh, last year, uh, early in the year, I sent that off to my daughter, who now lives in Portland, Oregon. She's a, a freelance graphic designer and uh, sent her the whole packet and not certain whether a 23-year-old uh, daughter really wants to work with her dad on a project. Uh, but she uh, got really excited about it, and we just had an absolutely great time. Uh, she took my story and, and brought all these characters to life. Uh, and so that's uh, how everything got started. Uh, we ended up uh, getting the book done, got it printed, published, and uh, so we're now ready to go with that. And so I brought a few extra characters with us. Uh, yeah, you brought some guests with you. And, uh, and, why don't you introduce the guests to us uh, here in studio? We, we can kind of see the inspiration because that's what your daughter created oh, yeah. uh, and illustrated. But we're able to see kind of what she took as her inspiration for it, which you brought in on our, our desk this morning. So who do we have there that we see in the book? You bet. Uh, so we've got Marshall T. Trowell. Uh, he doesn't say a whole lot. And obviously <laughs> There's the, Marshall. The Thanks sketches. for coming over, Marshall. Yep. We appreciate it. And so, you know, uh, so. Marshall came with us. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna stick with us for the entire interview and, That's and nice. be really quiet. Love okay. It, and love who it. else came along with? Well, him? I, because I named uh, all three of my kids got a, a tool name. This is Hannah Hand Float, <laughs> and uh, uh, Hannah's not gonna say much either. She really uh, likes to stay quiet dinner, during interviews. She really likes to draw. Yeah, right. And oh, Hannah okay. has a big job too. Yeah, she, she really covers does. a lot of territory. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, and then we also bought Tabby Tie Wire Twister. Uh, ta <laughs> Tabby has a big portion in the book. Uh, okay. She's really the spunkiest character, uh, and you really like her as you read the book. Uh, she's really got some twists to mm. her, so <laughs> it's uh, kind of fun I've to never see. seen that tool before. Yeah. That, so I, even adults can learn a little something from what's happening in this and book. And that's the whole basis of this, is, is you're uh, trying to inspire kids when they read these books, and probably parents too, and, and what is the basic byline of the story? Yeah, uh, great question. Uh, what we wanted to do was to inspire kids uh, into the, the trades. It's uh, uh, an area certainly since the 2006 uh, housing recession and during the commercial and industrial uh, construction recession we had in 08 and beyond. Um, uh, we wanted to try and inspire more kids into the trades because a lot of people got out of the trades. The construction right. industry was way down. And so by having kids read about uh, what's going on uh, and seeing a project being made, Mr. Mason going about his day working with all his tools, uh, the story is work hard, work together, uh, right. concrete. And I and, uh, thought if we could give a message to kids that it's okay to work hard, work together, and feel that satisfaction coming out of uh, uh, doing one of these projects, what a, what a great career. What a great way to uh, you know spend your life, and you, you're working with your friends and your family, and uh, it's really I, I hope an inspirational story to those kids who are really interested in in construction. Yeah, and those that get into the construction industry at this level, uh, there's a pretty decent income too that goes along with it that people have to realize. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. I don't think most people understand. They don't realize that. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do very well for yourself uh, whether it's a concrete uh, finisher, whether it's a bricklayer, whether it's HVAC, plumbing electrical uh, really doesn't make any difference. It's just a real satisfaction in doing some of those things with your hands. It, your it really is something else. We used to uh, break a car, break uh, apart concrete for tank pads over uh, gas stations and stuff. And when you're low uh, person on the totem pole, you got to take those pieces of concrete and hoist them up into the back of the truck. But eventually you work your way up where you can actually finish the concrete. And what a satisfaction that is when you finish a great job. You're exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and a great message if you work hard mm -hmm. and work as a team, uh, great things can happen. And that's what we're hoping and asking of uh, community members to uh, think about purchasing this book because proceeds are going back into the community. So you created this book as an educational tool and a wonderful message, but let's talk about how you're now putting that back into Marshalltown. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I think if the uh, tornado doesn't occur, uh, certainly this doesn't come to our mind, right. but uh, after the after the tornado and seeing all the devastation and the people that uh, had to live through that and what, what still is going on with the rebuild, we wanted to take a portion of our proceeds that were uh, going to get from the book, or we hope we're going to get from the book, mm -hmm. and uh, put that towards the uh, Rebuild uh, Iowa or Rebuild Marshalltown after the tornado. And then we also want to take a portion of the proceeds. Uh, uh, the high school has a uh, VOTEC program for right. construction that they're starting. And so we thought uh, those two are really near and dear to our heart, taking care of our community, but then also trying to put uh, an emphasis towards what's happening with uh, VOTEC and, and the construction trades. Yeah, Joe, what is giving you the most satisfaction after creating this book and seeing it in front of us like this? Well, I, I think there's a, there's a few things that really give me satisfaction. Number one is uh, being able to do this job with my uh, daughter was absolutely the most uh, delightful experience. I couldn't be more proud. Uh, you write a story, and uh, if you saw my sketches, you'd say, well, there's no way we're ever going to sell one of those <laughs> books. I kind of want to see your sketches now. <laughs> And uh, we, you know, we just had so much fun doing the book and really uh, enjoyed all that. But uh, to work with your daughter and uh, spend that time and be able to accomplish something was really something that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, and so, we, uh, you know, to me, that was the, the best thing. Uh, but then coming out of this, uh, you know, I hope uh, with what we've done that there can be some excitement. And we're seeing a little bit of that on social media. Some uh, got some advanced reader copies. And so uh, we're seeing some nice posts come back, some kids enjoying the story. Nice. So, uh, picture yesterday of a, a young guy who was sick at home with his mom, uh, had a chance to read the book, and he got so fired up after he did that that even though he was wearing his Batman jammies, uh, he put on his construction tool belt, he had a pair of pliers, a screwdriver. Uh, in his tool belt, he had a, a hammer was on the floor, and he had a reciprocating saw in his hand. And the mother posted that uh, uh, after reading Concrete uh, by Marshall T. Trowell and family uh, that he uh, wanted to go build some stuff. So he 
got out his tools. Oh, nice. That's so, amazing. That yeah. has to that make works. you feel pretty yeah. good. Okay, so let's get down to brass tacks. Where can we get this? So not only yep. can we get the book, but we can also give back to the Marshalltown community. Oh, thanks for uh, saying that. Uh, Marshalltown.com. Okay. Uh, that's where we that's can go pretty get easy. the books. I, yeah. I'm not sure if you remember that, but okay, yeah. we'll try. Marshalltown.com. Uh, it should be on Marshalltown.com at least by noon, we think, today. Okay. Uh, so it's just going up. So uh, this is brand new. This is brand new. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the first release, uh, first time it's been out there for sale. No one's bought a copy yet. Uh, so marshalltown.com, and then we should be on uh, Amazon by the end of the week, uh, is what I understand. Okay. So those All two right. places. I think everybody in the construction industry should get some of these books for the kids and their family, or maybe their uh, nephews or nieces, and get them involved, because this is a great idea. Yeah, everyone Thanks. needs to get a purchase of this book, because you know that proceeds are going back into the community of Marshalltown, helping them rebuild after the devastation last year with the tornadoes, and also the school system, to say, hey, there's great opportunities for you in the construction world as well. Yeah, exactly right. Wonderful. Thank well, thank you so thank much you. for joining us. Thanks for everything morning. you do, Joe. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Really enjoyed it. Thank Appreciate you for being it. here. Thank you. All right, we're going for more here on Iowa Live this morning, saying you can do more for our surrounding communities, and it's as simple as buying a great book. You're watching.